Our first sale of the new year is chock full of magnificent items. I want to showcase just a few special pieces for you right now. To my left is an acrylic on canvas by Walasi Ting. Ting is a Chinese-born artist who practiced in the 20th century. Originally born and self-taught in Shanghai, he moved to the U.S. and to New York in 1958 during the height of abstract expressionism. This work here is entitled Floating Flowers, and it was done in 1968. We have a beautiful signature and title on the back of the work, and he is very much known for this type of work. He took what he knew from his Asian environment and Asian heritage and brought it into abstract expressionism when he came to New York, befriended Sam Francis, and you see a lot of that in this work here. This was originally purchased from the Lefebvre Gallery in New York in 1974 after Wallace Ting held an exhibition at the gallery. This work comes from the home of a Central Park South collector and will be estimated at 40 to 60,000. From the same collector comes this abstract work by Emil Schumacher. Schumacher was a German-born artist who did practice in the United States, Paris, and all over Europe. This piece is entitled Minneapolis Suite No. 10, or Mini Ha Ha Laughing Waters. We have a beautiful signature and date down in the lower center of the piece, as well as an old gallery label on the back of the original Lucite frame. What's interesting about this piece is not, is it, not only is it from the same collection as the Wallace Ting, but it was purchased from the Lefebvre Gallery, where they actually held an ex exhibition of the Minneapolis Suite in 1968. The owner purchased it after the exhibition, and we later find out that this Lucite frame uh, was created by Schumacher, but was actually created in the New York gallery of contemporary artist Wallace Ting. Uh, so not only were they friends, but he allowed him to use his studio while he was in New York. This work is estimated at 15 to 25,000. While we're standing here by this painting, I thought I should show it off. This is a wonderful oil on masonite by Italian-American artist Ettore Cesar. And you can see the size of it is quite big. Uh, this came from a Manhattan apartment as well, a collector who purchased it at the Armory Show uh, 20 plus years ago. Probably done in the 19 teens or thereabouts. Uh, you just see wonderful use of light and color, a very nice early 20th century. Uh, seen with nudes, possibly bathers. Uh, this is estimated at three to 5,000. And last but not least, I want to show you a collection of Picasso Medora uh, clay work. So this first one here is a beautiful turned pitcher with wonderful glaze and knife engraving all along the piece. You can see the wonderful glaze work. Uh, this is hand signed on the bottom. So we have Edition Picasso as well as the Medora stamp and the Edition Picasso stamp. And this is called The Bearded Man's Wife. And this will be estimated at 25 to 35,000. And just next to it, we have another piece of Picasso Medora. And this piece of earthenware is called Wood Owl, also signed and numbered. On the base, we have the Medora stamp, edition Picasso, 96 out of 500. And this piece will be estimated at three to 5,000. And last but not least, another smaller picture. And this one from the series called Heads. And this one also, again, signed from the edition 67 of 300 on the bottom. And that just wraps up a sneak peek we hope to see you on January 5th and have a happy new year.